Hello and welcome back. I recently got the question how a slot machine built in Godot would look like. And yeah, so I thought why not showing you? You can build this very well with the native Godot UI features. So I have prepared a little GitHub project for you. The link is in the description below. So now let's jump into the Godot engine and start our slot machine project. When Godot starts, we can directly debug the project to check out how this demo works. Here we have four wheels, you could say. Each one can be stopped separately. And a player with his current money. For each roll, the player pays 10 of his money. If you win for one roll, Yeah, now I got once. And then you see over here, the player got 40 money. You can adjust the multiplier, which means how much you pay and win in the slot machine here. In general, the demo is built more modular, which means that we could duplicate the slot machine without a big workload. So, Theoretically, you got one player who can play on two slot machines at the same time. Also, the player loses money for both machines and would also win for each. Additionally, the wheels are modular too, so we can also duplicate single wheels within the slot machines. The game will be harder, because now the player has to time two wheels more. But you may have already noticed that the whole game is calculatable, since the spin speed of the wheels is constant and so on. Actually, it's only a small demo, and there is lots of room to build cool stuff around it. I won't explain each script now, but feel free to download the source code and try out some nice stuff on your own. We have three scripts. One for the player to manage the money. A second for the slot machine to manage the single wheels and evaluate the rolls or spins. And a third script for the wheel itself to control the animated sprite within. The most work is done here by the animated sprite, since we can add as many frames as we want right here. By the way, I used the sprite sheet from Kenny Assets. And now your slot machine gets even more difficult, so for now, I save the project, because we got more symbols. And here you see some of the new ones. And yeah. Okay, so that's it for the moment with the demo. And I hope I could help you a little bit. And as always, leave your questions, suggestions and comments below. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!